Thanks very much, Carissa. You're exactly right. Trilogy at one and four, eliminated if they lose this mm -hmm. game for playoff contention. Ghost Ballers already eliminated. They haven't won, but pretty good first half. They lead by seven. Well, for Trilogy, it's all about matching the effort and the energy brought to the floor by Ghost Ballers. Again, they have pride. They don't want to go undefeated. I mean, not winning a game throughout the whole season. So, Trilogy, you have a lot to play for. Your pride, but also defending your crown. And if you don't win games, you're not able to do both. Al Harrington, member of that trilogy team, the defending champs, and he is with Mike Rappaport. All right, Jersey's in the house. I'm with Al Harrington. You've had a topsy-turvy season. This game is close. What are you, big Al Harrington from New Jersey, going to do to try to pull this out for trilogy? Man, I'm going to get buckets, set good screens, and play a little bit of defense. How are you enjoying Toronto? This this city's been under duress the last week. What does it mean to be up here playing this Friday night for the Big Three? It's good, man. You know, this is always a good city, great basketball town. And uh, I just love playing out here. All right, Al, good out there and try to get this win. Fellas? All right, thanks very much, Mike. Al Harrington, seven points in the first half as we check out the Big Three standings. Three-headed monsters in power have already clinched spots in the postseason, August 17th in Dallas. Ghost Ballers have been eliminated. Three's company in Tri-State at 4-2. 25-18 lead at halftime for Ghost Ballers. Mike Bibby with a big first half for George Gervin's squad. Well, nine points, and it's, it's a difference when you got a shooter, a guy that can create stretches the defense highly intelligent IQ so when you have a player like that on the court it gives you another dimension and I told you and I talked about this team is so talented you wonder why they haven't won games but one of the reasons Mike Bibby hasn't been healthy throughout the whole season but based on that first half you see what kind of difference he can make when he is healthy right he missed three games led the league in assists and four-point field goals last year hit a four in the first half tonight he starts the second half with Carlos Boozer. There's Carlos and Ricky Davis. Ghost Ballers looking for their first victory in six games. Al Harrington along with Derek Byers and Rashad McCants for Trilogy. Harrington strong move to the hoop. He draws a foul. Foul well, committed by Carlos Booz, and they've been going at it all night. Oh, well, they have, yeah. but you know, this goes back to when they're in the league, oh, battling against each other. There's no different when you're out here. And why not try to exploit the opportunity for Al Heron to go one on one, especially when you have open court? He cursed at you. Harrington hits the free throw. He now has nine hey, boy, points to the trilogy to within five. Trilogy must win to keep their faint playoff hopes alive. Hey, Here's Davis, and he was fouled. Derek Byers committing the personal. That's it, boy. DB, Good pass, Booze. Good pass, it's okay. Booze. It's okay. Come on. Box out. Hey, yo, get up there. <laughs> Ricky Davis to the free throw line. Played it over 700 NBA games. Trick, trick. With 17. Davis connects. Take him on the two point free throw now 27 20. Ghost Ballers, first team to 50 wins the game. Yeah, Ricky Davis put together a good game himself. Nine points in the first half. Come back against two. And then Rashad McCants answers for Trilogy. Well, the mismatch inside with McCants playing Bibby. With Bibby playing McCants, he's just able to take advantage of it inside. Let's see if they go back to that on the next offensive possession. Hey, Davis hey, finds Boozer. Hey, ref, that's a bump. Way and the foul the is called on McCants. I know, but it's still a foul. McCants won a national championship at North Carolina hey, in 2005. Good move, Rick. Big three championship Slow game MVP quick. a no, season yeah, ago. No, you and Mike. Hey, ref, that's not a bump. Talk. Five-point lead for the Ghost Ballers. Coached by the Iceman, George Gervin. Here's Boozer. He lays it in. <laughs> Carlos Boozer, how about his resume? NCAA title, <laughs> Olympic yeah, gold medal, two-time All-Star in the NBA. Not bad. Not bad at all. Switch. Here's Harrington, again matched up with Boozer. Boozer commits the foul. Keep going. On the floor. Hey. 
Personal fouls don't matter. You, you can't foul out. But What's up, baby? Team goes to the penalty on the 15 foul. Yeah, and that's where it comes into play again. Too, Hey, understanding that? time wow. and score is one thing. Understanding to the foul situation, how to get into the penalty early to take advantage of the fact that now you make the free throw when you get to the line, that you can retain the ball and have another crack at it from an offensive perspective. Five point, Ghost Ballers lead. Can't stock it away from Bibby, kept alive by Boozer. And again, it's off McCants, although he thought he did not touch it last. Thank you. No foul. Black ball. Six Black seconds. ball. 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 So now Bibby will inbound. Six seconds on the shot clock. Oh, I'm shooting. Davis I'm fouled shooting. underneath by Byers. I was shooting. Just he says he was, was shooting. shooting. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the block right here by Rashawn McCann. They're getting that penalty. All right, let's go. All right, go. But they still gonna put it in the penalty. All right, good call. No foul. Good call, let's baby. go. Byers sits us down. Where we at? I mean, we uh, got. James White back in the game for Trilogy. Screen set by Boozer. On the pick and roll. Harrington. Can't believe it. He was called for the foul. Well, let's take a look here. Great pocket, well, great pass in between two defenders. It looked pretty clean right there from Al Harrington. Hey, watch what happened when people fly. Here's Boozer to the free throw line. Who you got? 11 points for Carlos Boozer. The Ghost Ballers lead is 7, 31 24. Kenny Albert, Jim Jackson, Mike Rappaport, Teresa Thompson coming to you from oh, Toronto. Yeah, McCants on the fade, rebounded by Bibby. Ah, I thought Some you miscommunication between Davis and Boozer. Yeah. Well, the thought process was there yeah. because it was a mismatch inside with Booz, but the execution right, just wasn't there. Well, uh, As you see, Ricky Davis, he knows Booz is open, but um, the guys right there on the baseline was able to catch that pass. Here's Harrington spinning on Boozer. Boozer stayed with him. Yeah, great recovery on defense. See if those guys can take advantage of it. He didn't. Wide open shot for Ricky Davis. Here's White. Picked up the dribble. Shoots. Harrington to the rebound. Have a put back. Play a game warning issued to Harrington. Greg, we need one. We're in the bonus. We need one. We're in the bonus. Come on, let's go. Okay, we get a foul, right? Rick Bohorn's trilogy trailing by five. 31 26. Hey, hey. Davis is fouled. White hey, to miss the personal. Derek Byers will check back in for trilogy. Uh, and you know, this trilogy team dealt with something differently this year. Last year, they were able to bully ball a lot of can't teams bail them out with that, please. Just blow. and take advantage of it. This year, when things started to go south, Trilogy was on the other end of the stick, and they found themselves complaining a lot more about nine calls and nine fouls, where last year, when things were going right, we didn't, we didn't see it. And we see a little bit of the frustration tonight from this Trilogy team. But at the end, you know, a lot of it is pointed at the officials and the coach Rick Horner just like let me handle it you play let me handle getting on the officials good move Mike I was no foul though, right Mike. now they're in the penalty no foul six DB. seconds Mike watch the here's Davis with the shot clock winding down Ricky Davis now with 15 yeah, points yeah. leading away for the ghost ballers we need one go 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 First team to 50 wins the game. He must win by two. James White found the lane. Oh, I like that clear out right there. And actually, James White was able to really attack Mike Bibby. What Mike was backpedaling that time is really hard to have any lateral movement to stop the drive when you're backpedaling. Bibby back out. Five on the shot clock. This is Davis. Davis puts it up and hits. 17 of the 37. Points for the Ghost Ballers have come from Ricky Davis. James White, nice move to the basket for Trilogy. But they trail by nine, thanks to this Ricky Davis basket.
Boston. Back in Toronto, at Toronto, nine point lead for the Ghost Ballers as we chat with their head coach, George Gervin. George, first of all, thanks for taking a couple of minutes. Uh, Ricky Davis leading the way for your squad. Uh, what's impressed you the most with your team so far tonight? Oh, they're moving the ball. They're moving the ball and they're playing together. Anytime you move the ball, you get easy shots. So they're playing together and they're playing smart. George, this team has pride. You have a lot of talent. Haven't been able to win, in the game, win a game. What was your message coming into you? To, to this game to your team. I got Bibby back. <laughs> Bibby know how to play basketball. As you can see, he make good decisions. You need a guy that make good decisions, especially down the stretch, so it's good to get him back. What did Rick Bohorn say to you before the game? He told us he had your poster up on his wall as a kid. A lot of, a lot of people have my poster on their wall. <laughs> <laughs> they sure did. And I appreciate it. You're going up against the defending champs, and they've had a bit of a rough time this season, but what, what would it mean to beat Trilogy? Play smart, Bulls. Coach Gerb, what yeah. are you going to do to close out this game? Man, you got to keep playing smart, man. You got to do the things that got us the lead, you know, and that's playing smart, man, not, not fouling and not putting these guys on the line. All right, thanks, Coach. Now Harrington short from three, rebounded by White. And we thank all the coaches the who have worn earpieces, chatted with us throughout the games. It's always tough, too, especially when you're right in the heart of it to really give an assessment to talk. But they understand the value of providing that insight, especially in-game insight on what's going on with the team, what's going on with the opponents they're facing. So... That's unprecedented access make these free that we have. Yes. Absolutely. Five of the eight coaches are Hall of Famers. In it, the other three had tremendous careers as well. We keep playing. Don't Here's Derek Byers to the line. You know the we ain't worried about that. Yes. I heard the, uh, Turn the term Let's unprecedented go. access get used again. Open, find open, it interesting. Open. But I will say this, as a basketball fan listening to the broadcast, it sounds crazy, but hearing the dribbles, the squeaks, the grunting, the pushing, the shoving, and the murmuring, it, I love it. When I used to uh, be a kid and you'd get those NBA TV videos and you hear the guy, it was like magical, you know, growing up. Now we have so much access with social media, but to get this kind of like in-game stuff, I love it so much and it just it's such a like a, a fourth wall to break for the fans I thought the grunting was coming from you Mike. That was me breathing. <laughs> if you hear heavy breathing That's me just walking the sidelines. Hey Mike, let me ask you a question You played hurt today. You yes. came in but yet you wanted people to feel sympathy for you kind of like LeBron at the end with the press conference You know he walked in yes with the bandage on like nobody was looking now you don't have it on I don't have it on but after the game at the post game press conference I will be putting my my, my brace, uh, a.k.a. my soft cast back on the game. But they are referring to this as the Willis Reed game of broadcasting. Uh, Kenny, you know about the Willis Reed game. But, but Mike, who is they? People. Who? Social media, the world. I, I the, didn't see the, anything come the, across the fans, my feed. That, the crowd, that said like, people that. are like, can he, can he pull it out? Will he make it to the end of the game? And the answer is yes. You'll have to drag me off this court. May 8th, 1970, the That's Willis Reed up. game. And now, July 27th, 2018, the Mike Rappaport game. Yeah, it will live in infamy, go down in history. With Mike, I did not notice the cast on the flight up here yesterday. Well, I had an incident, okay? And by the way, uh, Kenny, I lost my pants. Did you see when we were at TSA and they unpacked my stuff? The guy stole my jeans. So yesterday I was walking around in shorts and I had to spend a few hundred bucks getting me some some jeans today so I could look TV presentable. I was looking to see if maybe you could reimburse me with that. I did happen to see those jeans for sale on eBay. So weird. Just before the shot clock expires, Carlos Boozer pulls the ghost ballers to within four points of victory. And the toughest thing to do, ghost ballers, you haven't won a game. These next four points to close it out. I mean, you basically put Trilogy out of playoff contention. They're not going to go away. 
These are going to be four, four of the hardest points they have to score in order to close this game out. Screen shot by Boozer. Here's Boozer. He puts it up and he nails it. So the Ghost Ballers now two points away from their first victory of the season. Fires four point shot. Bimby the rebound. Got a mismatch inside. Take it time. Here's Bibby. A ghost ball is win with eliminate trilogy for postseason contention. Here's Boozer on the stage. No good. No foul. White. It's good. And the foul. Yeah, at that time, George Irvin, the whole bench for ghost ballers, ghost ballers were like, let him go. Don't foul. Because even if they score, we get the ball back. You don't want to put them to the free throw line, give them a chance to score, and get the possession back. White to the line. He led the big three in free throw percentage last season. Let's go. Nails that one. So it's now a 48 41 game, and they maintain possession because it's a great game for the Ghost Ballers. Here is Boozer. Could not touch the rim. Battle for the basketball. And a timeout will be taken by Ghost Ballers. How the hell you going to park? He did clear. That's some. Well, you said those last points were not going to be easy, Jim. Well, you, but here's the thing, too, because it's been a struggle all year to finish games and to get that dub. You press a little bit more. But what's been working for Ghost Ballers is ball movement, make the defense have to close out, and then you attack them off the dribble. Or it's a quick pick and roll with Mike Bibby and Carlos Boozer to explore the two-man game. That's what has gotten you to this point where you're two points away from winning the game. And even at the end, you don't want to go away from that. That's been successful for you. Go back to the well once more to see if you can close this out. Trilogy. The defending champs, unbeaten a season ago, will be eliminated from playoff contention here in 2018 with a loss. All right, let's go. Ghost Ballers three, baby. Let's go. have already been eliminated, but pride on the line looking for their first victory. They need only two points. Carlos Boozer, Mike Bibby, Ricky Davis on the floor for Ghost Ballers. Let's see what play Coach Gerben drew up out of it in the timeout. I saw Mike Bibby had the clipboard as well, so he may have had some input on what they want to run. Here's Bibby for the win. Air ball. Deion Glover with it now for Trilogy. That bell out shot right there. Still had seven seconds on the shot clock. White short. Rebounded by Boozer. Boozer spinning inside on White. Good pressure from Byers. Glover lost the handle. Black ball. Boozer. Black ball. Hey. Ghost Ballers basketball. They need two points to win the game. Hey, boo. Make it easy. Make it easy. Review. Rick Moore does not want to use a timeout. Well, yeah, he didn't, well, he didn't want to use the review to see if the ball actually went out on Trilogy, on his team. So, ball's still in the hand of Ghost Balls to see. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Now, they're in the penalty, but that's the... That's the... One foul you get in the bonus right. to take the ball out on the side. The now the next foul reverts back to Ghost Ball is going hey, to the free throw. Right. When it becomes point game, though, right? the opposing team has a foul to get. No matter how many fouls they've committed in the half. Yep, and keep in mind, point game. Beautiful play. Ricky Davis.
with the exclamation point on the first victory of the season for Ghost Ballers. Right, they deserve it. They came out and played early on Ghost Ballers. Team basketball, they played defense. Having Mike Bibby back in the fold, as Coach Gervin said, adds a different component of toughness, of intelligence, and also scoring. And I told you it was going to be a tough, tough four points. It was, but a beautiful out-of-bounds play from Mike Bibby to a cutting Ricky Davis. Bibby with a sixth assist. 23 points, game high, Ricky Davis. And I don't know if Derek Byers right here was expecting Deion Glover to switch, but you don't want to allow him to go to the basket. You want to force him to catch the ball back out towards half court. So James White not really applying a lot of pressure on the ball, allowed the pass just to be zipped in there. So a couple of defensive breakdowns by Trilogy at the end of the game.